I think there's a very short window period that SEO marketers can exploit. So yes. now that we have mm -hmm. chat GTP, and, and by short, I don't know if this is six months or 18 months. It, it's less than a year, probably. Yeah, it, it's pretty tight. But if you are an SEO marketer and you leverage chat, G, uh, chat GTP for your blog content or organic social uh, content that's searchable, yep. so think YouTube headlines and descriptions and all that stuff, then you've got a very short window of time before the avalanche of content starts overwhelming everything. And then just like social, it's going to become who's best. Um, yeah. So you, you got a really, really short window of time, uh, time period. Any thoughts there? Yeah. So I, I made this comment, I think yesterday or day before yesterday, I was like, it's never been easier to rank with SEO than it is now. Um, because there's tools. I know uh, Devin Wayne, I follow him a good bit. He's always pretty much in the weeds when it comes to SEO. I think he, you know, I think that there are a lot of people that kind of have blinders on. It's like, oh, you know, SEO is not going anywhere. Like it's always going to be there, even if it's in an AI chat, like it's going to show up. And like, and while that is true, but it's understanding what that is and what that future looks like, things are going to shift tremendously. Uh, I already, my user behaviors have changed tremendously. Like I very rarely go to Google for anything anymore. Why would I? I have, I have quick to the point answers that I need right in front of me, at least as long as it's, you know, relevant to 2021 with now. They've already connected it to the internet. So I have, you know, I have that access to, you know, relevant news and updates now. But here's here's the process. If you want to win an SEO, is like you get a tool, uh, you could use chat GPT. It's just going to take you longer. If you want it to sound human, you need to learn prompting a little bit better. Uh, don't just say, write me a blog post about how I can buy houses that are facing foreclosure and how I can save you. Like, it need, you need to learn how to structure it and what, what SEO content, good SEO content looks like. Uh, but if you're already in the SEO game and you've been working on it and you've been chugging away and, and kind of feeling like you're getting nowhere and you understand how to structure those articles, you can use tools that are readily available. God, there's probably hundreds of them now to go and find all the relevant keywords for your competitors, for your local market, all that stuff. And then it'll literally create hundreds of blogs a day that can be posted to your website. Um, then take that content, throw it into a product like Wondercraft that will then turn it into like a, a voiceover uh, narrated uh, uh, podcast type style. Then take that and put it into a Descript or to a video tool that then creates a video using images or whatever to go throw that on YouTube. So now you're being omnipresent. What used would take you, you know, years to create all that content it can now take you minutes. Um, so creating content right now is by far the easiest and best way to use, you know, tools like ChatGPT and, and AI. And I know everyone's kind of hounding on that. And I was like, well, we're looking, everyone wants something like so new and innovative and crazy. I was like, well, I just want, you know, to be able to hit a button and, and you know, have hundreds of houses who are ready to sell come to my, come to my door. Um, that's not necessarily the way things are. We're not moving towards that direction yet. Um, and we what, and we never will just because of competition. Like right, the, yeah. now the early movers, the yeah. early movers who the early movers, it's just like very testing, right? good at knowing what it is and how to exploit it. They will. Yeah, uh, and, and that's the short window. In we were 2017. About. I got out of texting in 2020. Uh, not to say that, and I told everyone, I was like, texting still works. It still works great. I said, however, there's just too many loopholes that you're constantly having to jump through. I already know people who have been popped. I was like, I don't, I said, I don't really want to play that game. And plus it's just, it's, it's too many people are doing it at one time. Now, I mean, I, I, if you own property, God, you, how many text messages do you get a day? Oh God. Like um, yeah. I, I, my spam blocker is on like high. So yeah. if, if you're not in my context, good luck. Calling. <laughs> yeah. Well, and that's the thing. Carriers are getting wise to it. Right. So like uh, the new iOS updates, if you get a text message that seemed like it could be spam, they immediately have a, a button now that says report is junk. So now your your numbers flagged. You're going to have to rotate those numbers out. Now rotating numbers out doesn't really work that well because you have to register your numbers. It's just getting harder and harder and harder. So like like, like any good marketer, you always have to kind of be zigging and zagging and looking for the next next thing. Yeah, uh, I am not a huge proponent of, you know, mass cold outreach um I, i'm just not because i just, I feel like it's 
it's too annoying. It's essentially spam. Nobody wants to wants you to take your phone call. If I want to sell my house, I'll call you, uh, or I'll text you, or I'll go to your website or whatever. Now, granted, I've gotten a lot of deals cold calling. I've gotten a lot of deals texting, uh, but it's not on a scale where I upload you know a thousand numbers and I hit those in a day. Uh, that's just not that's just not who I am personally. I believe we're headed toward a uh, future where it's all permission based marketing, meaning you are not allowed to reach out to me in any way, shape or form unless I've explicitly given you permission to do so. Um, and that's that's going to wreck a lot of things. We've already seen a lot of text companies that have been backing out and having to pull out and you know not offer their services anymore. Um God knows how many people have been sued over the whole cold calling using, you know, triple line dialers and stuff like that. Um, Cause everyone's argument is like, it's a very gray area. I'm not, I'm not selling anything. I'm offering to buy. And that's only going to hold yeah, up. For, yeah, it doesn't matter. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah I, with you, that's why I never really went heavy down that path. Um, one is just not my comfort zone. And, and, um, but in any way, so yeah, there, there is that short time period where, yeah, if, if, if you learn it, just like early people on YouTube, early people on Facebook who really went after Facebook pages or, um, early people on pay-per-click and Google, they were buying ridiculously pr- uh, high price keywords today, but they were buying them for like two cents. Like <laughs> they win and then they go into the next thing when everyone else is like, Ooh, pay-per-click. <laughs> My problem so, is I can't I can't help but when I can't help but open my big mouth if something's working like I tell everyone because one I know ninety percent of people aren't going to do it anyways. No. Um, I was doing PPC in twenty seventeen in South Carolina when I first got started, and I was just cleaning. I mean, me, immediately as soon as I turned it on, I was getting phone calls and web submissions like crazy. I was like, "This is freaking great!" And I think I was only spending like two thousand dollars a month. Yeah. Um. And everyone kept, I'd go to the RIA meetings. I was like, well, how are you getting like so many properties? Like, bro, PPC. Like, and I didn't really know anything about PPC. Then I just like kind of used their templates and said, all right, yeah, here, let's try this out. And uh, next thing I know, like I was spending $10,000 a month, <laughs> but it was okay. I was still getting the same amount uh, of, of deals, but they were just costing me more. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's just the evolution. Doesn't matter what you do. This is happening. So yeah. ultimately you've got to make the decision. Do you want to learn this and be ahead of it? Or are you just going to let it roll over you and try to adapt in a very powerful way that, that's coming over your business? So that's going to happen anyway. But there's one other aspect here. And this is what I really like about the SEO side. Because ultimately, SEO right now is me trying to go out there and attract you through keywords. But eventually... Yeah. AI is going to have a pretty good intelligence on what's good and bad out there in the marketplace and, and good and bad. I'm thinking more reputation based. Yeah. So it will not require me going to a computer or going to my phone or going to my iPad to type in uh, when I'm in San Diego for a conference. Hey, what are pizza places around me? I can just Hey, Alexa, order pizza. And then it already knows that local uh, shop that's a half mile around the corner that's got 1,500 4.7 star reviews. And they have a special on, uh, on Supreme for $11.99. So boom, like done. Yeah. So that'll that'll happen the same thing with real estate. It's yeah, hey, Alexa, I mean- uh, who, who are the top real estate agents in Sugarland Taxes? Like, and then boom, it's going to go boom, boom, boom. Would you like their yeah. phone numbers? Would you like me to send an email for you? I mean, you could, go even deeper, you could go even deeper. The AI would know your you know, like your preferences and like what you like and the type of people you like to deal with. Yeah. You want to order a massage the of, and they know the type of foods that you like. I mean, like all these things will be like for a massage. Of, like they know I'm not going to. I mean, it'd be a lot before I let a guy massage me. <laughs> so <laughs> it's probably going to say, all right, well, we've got Jane. Sally and Kim, like, uh, and and these are their times are available, right? Um, I, I I do think we'll have like some type of Jarvis uh, in the next five years, uh, and I'm not the only one that says that. We may we'll probably reach it even sooner than that. Um, so it makes you wonder. That's why I was my post about SEO the other day was like these things could go in so many different directions. Like we might come to a point in time where we're not, you know relying on going to a computer to even do anything or search for anything 
Uh, so what does that future look like? And not to mention the fact that we're already introducing, you know, chatbots into search uh, and they're, in, you know, they're putting ads there, which, you know, it's user behaviors have to change a lot before we, we get there. But I think they're changing fast enough to where we have to wonder, like, how do I end up in that AI chat? Like, how do I, how does my business end up there uh, without paying for it? Does, is there any uh, SEO things that I can do that, that put me in that in that spot. As a matter of fact, I, I used Bing Chat the other day. So I want to sell my house in Alabama for cash. And it mentioned there was a couple uh, small mom and pops, but it mentioned some I buyers. Uh, and then it said, however, typical local investors lowball you. And uh if you want if your house is in decent condition, you'll get a better offer from my I buyer. <laughs> So like, yeah, th think about that. <laughs> and think of, yeah, so you've been completely, if you're a local wholesaler at that level, which that level is very small right now. Like it's, I'm, I'm thinking level as far as integration with, with technology and that information, like yeah. two, three years from now, it's going to be massively more like you're out of business. You're out of, you just don't make money. So you have to adapt and that's going to require putting in your, 10 hours, 20 hours of research over the next few months, taking an hour, hour here, hour there. And then beyond that, just maybe 30 minutes a week, just reading up on some headlines on, on what's going on and implementing this. Because if you don't, you're going to get left behind. 